Hello, this is Cynthia in the Teaching Learning Center. In this quick video, we'll show students a new feature when they use the assignment tool. This will help to troubleshoot against, you know, misunderstandings with whether or not a file was actually attached to an assignment. So I'm in a course now as a student, and here's an assignment ready to be submitted. So if I click on the name of the assignment, I'm just going to attach my document. This feature with the dotted um, rectangle around these buttons means that you can now just drag and drop a file into Blackboard instead of using the Browse My Computer feature. So let's just try that. Okay, so here I just browse to where my document is. And I'm just going to click on it and drag it into this area. When it turns purple, I let go. And now you can see that that, that file has been attached. Okay, so either way, either drag it into that area or use the Browse My Computer button to find your document. Okay, so troubleshooting number one is now that I've seen, I think I've attached it, I can actually see the document here. Okay, that's number one, but the, the main thing that's going to give you, um, I'm going to click Submit now, the main um, point I want to make in this video is for you to notice this confirmation number. This is the new feature. Okay, it's in green above the submission history blue area. Um, it's your responsibility to take note of this confirmation number. Okay, you can just copy that sentence and put it in a Word document somewhere to save just in case. All right. Um, if you don't have this number and something goes wrong with this, you you have no um, backup to tell your instructor. I'm sure I you know I'm sure I attach that document. You need this number in order to be sure because this, the instructor can now view this whether or not something has been attached by this number in the the instructor's version of my grades, which is their grade book. Okay, they can see this number. If there's no number attached, it means nothing was submitted. All right, so it's your responsibility to make sure that you keep track of this number. All right, so you've uh, um, attached that document, you've submitted it, you have your confirmation number. Um, one more thing that you can look at just to make sure that it was actually submitted. Sometimes you may click the Save Draft and think you've clicked Submit It by mistake. You know, that's not too uncommon an error. So you can always go to My Grades, look for that assignment, and number one, you'll check to see that you have this green, the green circle with the exclamation point. That means that you've submitted something. But you can also click on the name of the assignment, and you'll see the document. You should see the document attached there as well. Okay, so that's another way you can troubleshoot that. All right, so um, three things you're checking for to troubleshoot um, an assignment submission. One, when you first attach your document to the assignment, you can see the name of that file below the Browse My Computer button in the assignment. Okay, number two, after you actually click Submit, you have a confirmation number that it's your responsibility to save. And then number three, you can go into My Grades, look at the assignment itself, look for this green circle with the exclamation point, click the name of the assignment, and look for the file name attached to it as well. All right, remember the instructor can also see the confirmation number associated with your submission. If that isn't available in, in the, the instructor's resources, then there's nothing they can do if you're arguing that, that something was attached at one point. All right, so um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the TLC. Thank you.